game hosting Weber State after a great road win in North Carolina to kickstart his program. Coming home, you have to follow up with a win, and Weber State did not go away easily. First home game for the Golden Bears. All right. Jason Kidd in the house recently inducted into the Cal Hall of Fame. First quarter, Cal with a little trickery. Double reverse to Demetrius Robertson. He's got a whole lot of open field and speed. 34-yard touchdown. Cal takes a 7-0 lead. Now keep your eye on Bowers here, too. Right there with Robertson, ready to block the whole way. Speed kills. Uh, Got to love a quarterback like that. 7-3 now. Weaver State picking up yards in chunks. Stephon Cantwell, 47-yard bomb to Rashid Shaheed. Stops, waits for it, then brings it down. Cantwell then finishes the drive with a nine-yard TD scramble. And Weaver State up 10-7. Cal's defense not as tough as they've been. All right, second quarter. Cantwell looking down the field again. Sacked by Raymond Davidson. The third, Devontae Downs, comes up with the ball. Take another look. Cantwell hit low. Ball just pops right out. And that's what you're looking for. Turnovers. 10 all now. Cal driving. Patrick Laird finds an opening. This kid is just coming out Lynch. of nowhere. I know. 51-yard <laughs> touchdown, and he's just getting started. 17-10 Bears late in the second. Cantwell answers. Uncorks one to a wide open Rashid Shahid, my new favorite name. 55 yard touchdown. Someone might want to cover him, 17 apiece. Take another look. Darren Brown tripped. Uh, Shahid had nowhere, was nowhere near him. Yeah, there's not much defense typically played at Memorial Stadium. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. All right, fast forward to the fourth. 20 all can't. Well, another deep pass. This one to Andrew Villard. Fumbles the ball after the catch. Davis in the third punched this one out. So Cal, even though they're giving up chunks, finding a way to get the ball back. Laird with a second TD run, this time one yard, 27-20, Cal Bears. Same score in the fourth. Fourth down, Weber State needs to score. Cal blitzing, can't, well, can't complete that pass. And then Laird, the dagger. 73-yard ceiling touchdown run. Unbelievable. Where did this kid come from? They've had some pretty good running backs come through that program in the last 10 years. They really have. You know, a lot of speed, a lot of playmakers. That's We've seen a lot of those type plays. All right, 33-20, your final. Laird, a monster in this game. 191 yards on only 12 carries. Three TDs. Cal's defense gave up 571 yards, kind of reverting back to the Sunny Dykes there because I know Justin Wilcox doesn't want to see that, but they got some key turnovers and a big stop in the end. Rick Kwan is in Berkeley for more with the Golden Bears. As impressive as Cal's victory last week at North Carolina was, today's game was as disappointing as the Bears needed a fourth quarter rally to get by FCS opponent Weber State. We didn't execute well today on e in any phase, uh, offensively, defensively, special teams. We just got to be a lot cleaner. We had a lot of self-inflicted wounds, things that we could ha we could have control over uh, that we didn't do well today. You know, we're driving all the way down, and then you know I make a bonehead play and fumble. Um, you know, it's stuff like that that it kills drives and it takes points off the board, and it shifts momentum. While quarterback Ross Bowers struggled to find his rhythm, junior running back Patrick Laird found his stride with a career-high 191 yards and three touchdowns. You know, no surprise to me. You know, he's he's always just wait, waiting for a shot, kind of. So he's uh, he took full advantage of it today and saved us, honestly. You know, the running back room, we're all pretty close, and we all, you know, knew we were going to have opportunities to get, in, you know, get some touches, get out, run some routes, and, um, you know, this game it was me but you know next game it could be Vic it could be anyone so yeah it's uh, not a surprise for the running backs. Cal will play his third straight non-conference opponent next Saturday when it hosts SEC member Ole Miss. For after the game this is Rick Kwan. All right a win's a win I don't care how you get it at 2-0. and oh. Now uh, your first impressions of Justin Wilcox I knew his dad Dave didn't play with him mm -hmm. I'm not that old. <laughs> Hall of Fame linebacker with the 49ers and uh, Justin has that same defensive mentality. I like what he brings to the program and I think it's a good change of pace. I, I do too. I've liked him since the Boise State days. Right. He, he was one of Chris Peterson's confidants. Right. Obviously bounced around. He, to me he makes a lot of sense at Cal. West Coast guy. They're coming off a big time win last week in North Carolina. This right. was Weaver State's Super Bowl. So that, that happens in college. But clearly to me, last weekend, I, I, I kind of throw this game out the window. Last weekend, I, Sonny Dykes team's not going back to North Carolina and winning that game. You know, three hour time difference, right. nine o'clock kickoff, West Coast time. That's a tough game. All right, Patrick, that was La Patrick Laird, uh, you know, last week it was really Vic Wharton, the third, and uh, Patrick Laird kind of stood out today, 191 yards. What'd you like about him, and, you know, what do you see him as a running back? You know, he's pretty fast. Now, I, I think, you know, from, a, from an NFL standpoint, you, you always kind of, it's hard to judge these type games because who's he playing against? 
uh, you know, guys that are my speed. But, uh, <laughs> you know, if, if he can do this next week against Ole Miss, right. which is going to have speed, I don't mean to do that, right. but just have 100 yards and be a tough player, right. he can be a guy that they build around because clearly a, a defensive coach, they like to run the football. Right. And I think, too, with Cal this year, there's not one guy that stands out. So, collectively, as a team, they're going to beat people, not uh, individual teams. I, I don't think there's that much elite talent. Right. So, you right. know, Sonny kind of left the coverage a little dry right. for Justin. So, to me, this year, if you're just competitive and in the bowl mix, right. the Pac-12, you know, Stanford, Washington, Washington State, Oregon, Oregon looks a lot better. USC, it's, it, UCLA. Yeah, right. I mean, this is not easy. Right. It's going to be tough to win a Pac-12 game. No question. All right, Cal offense is rolling, but defensively there were some struggles today. They played a lot better last week against North Carolina. Some key stops and turnovers. Weber State are hauling off large chunks of yards. And what needs to change before they can start taking on top teams on defense? Well, I mean, I, I think they have the coaching staff because, like I said, I think Justin Wilcox is a big-time defensive coach. Their defensive coordinator, Tim DeRuder, right. was the head coach for Derek Carr at right. Fresno State. So, I mean, that's a pretty good defensive coordinator. I, I think this year just the personnel is, is what it is. I, I think they're a couple years away from getting their type guys in there. But, again, I, you're going to see constant fight. You're going to see guys because it felt like the last couple years when things didn't go their way, they kind of tapped just out. Just folded up, yeah. You know, and I, I don't think that will be tolerated because when you have a defensive head coach, it's not tolerated. You've been around football a long time. You, they do not stand for that. No. You know, especially giving up big plays. No. That will happen. But the next time you come back out, do you tap out or do you keep on fighting? And Justin needs a couple of years to recruit the kind of players he wants to fit into both his schools. I already think they look tougher than they have the last couple well, no of years. Question. Just defensively, they're, they're tackling. Right, no question.